Hello, welcome to the Rovers Chat News Show. Um, some more visual content for your eyes. Uh, we're going to go over some of the uh, news coming out of Blackburn Rovers, international call-ups, etc. So we will start off with the international roundup, and we're better to start than a debut for Ryan Niambi. He got his first cap against Ghana in a 1-0 victory, which is um, and a clean sheet. Not much better ways to start your international career. Uh, obviously, he will be playing in the African Cup of Nations, where they'll, they'll be playing Morocco on the 23rd, uh, South Africa on the 28th, and Ivory Coast on the 1st of July. Next up is Charlie Mulgrew and Scotland. He's played in both of Scotland's Euro 2012 qualifiers, uh, beating Cyprus 2-1, uh, and unfortunately captained them to a 3-0 defeat against the mighty Belgium. Um, Scotland sit fourth out of six, uh, with two wins and two losses, still having to play Russia uh, in the first round of games. Um, on to Luttweiler, he will be uh, representing Canada in the Gold Cup. This summer, uh, they've already played one game against Martinique, a uh, 4-0 victory um, in the first game. Uh, and then they have to play Mexico on the 20th of June and Cuba on the 23rd of June. Uh, and then obviously into the knockouts if they shall get it. Uh, but they currently sit second in their group uh, with Mexico top because they beat Cuba 7-0. Uh, on to Corey Evans, uh, was part of the Northern Ireland side that had the best start to a qualifying campaign in the country's history, picking up four wins from four. Uh, he was on the bench for the two win 2-1 win against Estonia and played 69 minutes in the 1-0 win against Belarus. Uh, Northern Ireland sit top of their group ahead of Germany, who have played one less, uh, and ahead of Netherlands, who have played two less and have actually lost uh, to Germany. Um, so it's looking good for them so far, but still a long way to go. So next is someone we haven't seen anything of at Rovers, but Louis Ainsley played for Gibraltar in the 2012 qualifiers uh, getting 86 minutes in a 3-0 defeat to Georgia uh, and played the full 90 against Ireland in which they lost 2-0. Uh, Gibraltar sit bottom of the group losing all three games. Finally the preseason fixtures have been announced and it's disappointing we've not got one at home. I don't know whether the last time we got one at home we didn't have a home game in, in preseason was uh, but it's disappointing. Obviously, Barrow, 6th of July. Rochdale, Mansfield. Uh, the big one is Rangers on the 21st of July. So, long trip up to uh, Glasgow. Uh, and then Berry and Blackpool. Uh, obviously, uh, Mowbray did get quoted that they had a difficulty this year. Um, as you saw last year, we like the bigger teams. The better for me, but we haven't managed to get the balance 100%. How we would have liked it. Rangers away is a very tough game for us, of course. Um, so as you can see, uh, we don't have the, the... Usually the balances, we normally start off with some of the lower teams and we build it up through pre-season and then we finish with, like last season, we finish with like Everton and Liverpool and, and teams like that. Um, obviously it's not gone that way, uh, but it, it'll be a good test heading up to uh, to Glasgow to face Rangers. Uh, but that's that's it. That is the end of the show. We've caught you up on some of the news. Um, obviously, you can catch all the news as it happens on RoversChat.com or on the Twitter at Rovers underscore chat. Um, but I hope you've liked this, um, this video and uh, we'll see you again on the next one.